Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and Callie had a great way of putting this. We enjoy running on the trails, however, we're not necessarily trail runners. We do enjoy it though. And when I was out on the search for a new shoe, I was coming across a lot of different options. However, I just really wanted something that would work, that was comfortable, that I could run short distances, long distances. Maybe I could even work out in it if I wanted to and not necessarily only run on a trail. Well, that's where I found the La Sportiva Captiva. This has been a great shoe for us. Like I said, not only do I run in the trails, but I'm also working out in this shoe and it really fits all of the activities that I want to do really well. So speaking of fit, let's start there. La Sportiva is known to kind of fit a, a little bit of the narrower foot size range. And for me, I would say I have average to narrow feet. I think that's why I've always really liked the La Sportiva line. For shoe size, I'm usually a 10 to 10 and a half, and a lot of people do step up an extra half size in the La Sportivas. For me, this is a 10 and a half. I wear a thinner sock with it. If I were to step up to an above average or maybe a cushion sock, the 10 and a half would be too small of a fit. My toes would definitely be touching the end and I'd wanna step up to that 11 size. This toe box is narrow and what I like about this is it really just hugs my entire foot. So if I find myself in that technical terrain, this really gives me the stability and confidence that I need so that I'm not falling or tripping all over the place. It will grip on the smallest of edges. The outsole really helps with that grippiness. You can see that it does have this nice hexagonal lug pattern to it. These lugs vary from three and a half to four and a half millimeters throughout the entire bottom sole. Now this is one and a half millimeters EVA. So when you're finding yourself on those little bit sharper or pointier rocks, it doesn't necessarily come through the entire shoe into your foot, giving you a lot of pain. I found it has just the right amount of cushioning. Also, it doesn't really give you that springy feel that maybe you've thrown on a pair of athletic shoes and you're like, wow, these are really springy or I feel like I'm walking on a cloud. I don't get that with these. It feels to me like it's just the right amount of cushioning. The Captiva does have six millimeters heel toe drop. It's nice and gradual. Nothing that I noticed when I slipped the shoe on that it felt weird. Again, just really comfortable right out of the box. The tongue also does have a very small amount of padding. This is great, lacing them up. Nothing was really digging into the top of my foot. They also do have this really great sock that hugs the entire foot. So slipping these on without them even laced up, they are a nice snug fit. And Callie can tell you, I really like having anything from my gloves to my shoes be a really nice snug fit. And I think that's why I really gravitated towards the Captiva. One thing I did find though, if I slip these shoes on and I find myself driving to the trailhead and maybe it's a longer drive and I'm just sitting around in these shoes, my feet do start to go a little bit numb because this sock provides such a nice tight fit. Something to maybe keep in mind if you're gonna be hanging out in the shoes and not moving around a lot for an extended period of time. However, as long as I'm moving, I've never found that to be an issue. What I do love about it is especially on these gravelly trails or in the sand, it keeps a lot of stuff from getting into the shoe. As far as weight goes, they're definitely not the lightest thing on the market, but I never noticed them being overly heavy. It wasn't like I got them out of the box and threw them on my feet and we're like, wow, these are so heavy and clunky. Definitely not the case. However, if you're looking for that ultra light runner, this may not be the shoe. What I found for me personally is this shoe does a lot of things really well. This friction sole is extremely sticky. However, it's still durable. That's something that I found when you get really sticky and really soft, it's not quite as durable. I do like the friction because even though it is sticky, I haven't lost any lugs over the miles that we've been running. And I've really just started to wear down the lugs on my heels here. However, I definitely feel like these are gonna last a long time for me. I do like also on the toe box here, they do provide a nice rock guard here. This is awesome if you find yourself in that rocky train and you happen to kick a rock, gives you a little bit of protection for your toes. 
Again, if you guys are looking for a shoe that does a lot of things very well, I think the Captiva checks that box. Just remember on the sizing, you may want to step up a half a size to even a full size, depending on what socks you may be wearing with them. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions about them, please leave them in the comment section below and Callie and I will get back to you. If you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.